There are so many misconceptions that lie around pelvic pain syndromes outside of the spinal canal. We'll go into spinal related pain syndromes in another video series, but significant advancements have been made within the last few decades in regards to the top five pain syndromes that can cause your sciatica pain that originate outside of the spine. Anytime you have a nerve irritation or syndrome that is outside of the spine, that is called a peripheral nerve or a nerve that is outside of or next to the actual spine. The reasons these advancements are so significant is before the invention of the MR neurography in 1992 by Dr. Aaron Filler, these painful nerves were invisible to any imaging and testing, including an MRI, making an accurate diagnosis almost impossible scientifically. It was more of an art than a science, which led to many misdiagnoses, failed surgeries, and patients oftentimes becoming worse off based on failed treatments. It was to no fault of the doctor. They did the best they could with the technology that they had. But now, the MR neurography uses the same machine as an MRI, but the software is different. The software makes the irritated nerves the brightest images in the pictures for neuroradiologists so that they can pinpoint the exact location of the problem, prove the diagnosis with MR-guided injections, and then, if necessary, perform a minimally invasive surgery to release the nerve and solve the problem at hand. We have videos dedicated to what an MR neurography is and also MR guided injections and their efficacy in relation to being treatments and diagnostic tools simultaneously. But for our current purposes, there are five top pain syndromes that can cause your sciatica that originate outside of the spinal canal. Number one, piriformis syndrome. Number two, obturator internus syndrome. Number three, pudendal nerve entrapment. Number four, superior gluteal nerve entrapment. And number five, complex sciatic notch syndrome. Dr. Aaron Filler's book for surgeons called Do You Really Need Back Surgery? goes into detail about why 1.5 million people per year in the U.S. have MRIs of the lumbar spine to try and find what is causing their sciatic pain. Yet, in 1.2 million of those scans, the imaging fails to reveal a cause of the sciatica in the patient's spine. Further, more than 300,000 Back surgeries are performed annually in the U.S. and 75,000 of these people emerge no better than before, failing to get to the source of their sciatica. Spinal problems certainly do exist, but they are overrated based on statistics. John and I as the sciatic pain terminators both had peripheral nerve syndromes outside of the spinal canal, but when we went to the doctor, they wanted to pigeonhole us into having spinal problems in both scenarios. John, in fact, was a month away from having a back surgery when he canceled, as he knew there was something missing in the scientific link of his diagnosis that just didn't make sense. His further research led him to Dr. Aaron Filler and six surgeries later, he's finally getting to the source of his very complex problem that is more or less in the one percentile or less. Most patients are cured the first time around. One neurologist wanted to tell me I had spondylosis and arthritis in my neck when further investigation and diagnosis proved that I had thoracic outlet syndrome, a neck pain syndrome completely unrelated to the spine. And two surgeries later, I'm obviously starting to feel much better. 
Now until the sciatic pain terminator program is released with more in-depth and exclusive information on all of our blog posts, John and I invite you to watch the videos on our blog, read the articles, and learn all that you can. And you might find like quite a few others already that just these free videos on the blog have been able to help guide you towards terminating your pain. John and I are thrilled to hear stories like that and we are just getting started, so keep them coming. Now also, please comment on the blog with any questions that you or a loved one has had about how to terminate sciatic pain. It's time to get your life back. Now stay tuned for our next video called Piriformis Syndrome, Sciatic Pain Syndrome Number One. To a pain-free lifestyle, Jen and John, your sciatic pain terminators.